and a major move that further sets back the situation in the Korean Peninsula. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has threatened a war with South Korea. He says that such a situation can occur even if, and I'm quoting here, 0.001 millimeter of its territory is violated. Kim has called for constitutional changes to ensure that South Korea is seen as its primary enemy and that North can occupy Seoul during a war. Well, speaking at the Supreme People's Assembly, North Korea's parliament, and Kim said that he had concluded that unification with the South was no longer possible. He called for severing of all inter-Korean communications and the destruction of a monument to reunification in Pyongyang. North Korean state media reports that three organizations dealing with unification and inter-Korean tourism would also be shut down. South Korea has reacted strongly. President Yoon Suk Yeol told his cabinet that if the North carries out a provocation, Seoul will hit back with a response, and I'm quoting here, multiple times stronger. North Korean authorities defied South and North Korea as two hostile countries, not same race countries. This shows the North Korean regime acknowledging their nature as anti-national and ahistorical. Inter-Korean ties have worsened recently amid a series of missile tests and a push by Pyongyang. In the constitutions, both North and South Korea claim sovereignty over the whole of the Korean Peninsula. At Pyongyang's year-end policy meetings, Kim called for a build-up of his country's military arsenal ahead of an armed conflict, which he warned would break out any time. On Sunday, the North launched a solid fuel hypersonic missile just days after Pyongyang staged a live fire exercises in the country's tense maritime border. And these drills prompted counter exercises and evacuation orders for some border islands in the southern region there.